Since 1998, volunteers from Sea Change Marine Conservation Society have been restoring watersheds from the Lower Mainland to Haida Gwaii. Their work involves everything from cleaning up shorelines, educational nature walks for the public, maintaining nesting boxes for endangered birds, and even undersea gardening. Here's B. Cooper. This is a marine flag most of us living on the West Coast recognize. It means caution, diver below, or in this case, gardener below. What we're doing is taking eelgrass from a healthy bed, which is just right in front of us here, and putting it out into areas where it's completely gone. Eelgrass grows in shallow water, forming meadows on the seafloor. It slows wave action to prevent the erosion of sand from our shorelines and provides food and shelter for everything from crabs to salmon. Our salmon need eelgrass from when they are coming down the streams before they hit open ocean. They need to spend a couple months in the estuary to get bigger. So the eelgrass is the primary place where they are able to gather their food and hide. But it's disappearing. The Couchin Bay has very little eelgrass left. 100 years of logging uh, and human recreational use in the estuary has wiped it out in almost entirety. And so, for the past decade, volunteers from Sea Change Marine Conservation Society have been restoring eelgrass beds, Here. gently removing just enough shoots to leave current beds healthy and plant new ones. We put the little washer on here, just up beyond where the uh, last lot of roots are. Eelgrass shoots actually float, so the anchors are needed to hold them down. And the divers plant them so the anchors are just underwater. And they plant them in clumps of 10 shoots, one meter apart. So is it working? The education piece has been very successful. A lot of the volunteers have never heard of it before and just want to help out in the Couch and Bay area. Restoration is difficult. It's better to conserve what we already have than to try and restore what's already gone. It has been very successful in the past. Some of the old statistics show 80% um, growth from a planted bed. But this dive brought a disheartening discovery. Transplant sites from 2008 and 2009 were gone. There were no, no shoots left, just metal washers. It might have been geese eating the shoots, extreme low tides drying them out, or human intervention. Sea Change will try to get to the bottom of why they lost all those beds and keep working to re-establish this important plant habitat. This check program is brought to you in part by Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.